Hi, it's a little bit bright up here. Let me just put on my goggles to speak with you. Do you sometimes have hives, itchy skin, rashes, you don't know where it comes from, or maybe a runny nose, um, sneezing, asthma, and nobody's really found out where it comes from. You've even been to see allergy specialists. Here you will, you might have diarrhea, you might have bloating, you might have cramps. Um, so clearly something that is just uh, not only affecting your GI system, well, something you might want to consider is something called um, mast cell activation syndrome. In the olden days, especially in the Germanic literature, this used to be called histamine intolerance. So really, um, mast cell activation syndrome and histamine intolerance have so much in common. They're probably the same um, diagnosis, same cause. What we really think happens is that uh, mast cells are activated by external stimuli. It could be food, it could be stress. Uh, could be infection and that causes mast cells, some immune cells, to release um, pro-inflammatory substances, cytokines for example, or histamine, serotonin, and all of these agents then have an action on your body, causing skin reactions, mucosal reactions, but also on the, on, in the GI tract. How does one test for this? Well, a lot of ongoing research, nothing really quite um, specific. Um, right now. Um, treatment would generally be recognition of the problem, maybe um, some dietary consulting, but we tend to use mast cell um, stabilizing agents um, causing less release of these pro-inflammatory substances from the mast cell. There are some natural mast cell stabilizing agents too, and of course the old um, classic antihistamines. So, if you have some of these symptoms, you might want to look at our website, www.foodintolerances.com, and you can look at it anyway, even up here in the mountains. So, let me have a good look at you. Thanks for listening. Bye.